I first got involved with the center and with Dr. Schoenfeld, my first year being principal at Bishop Gorman, we had a student who passed away. We reacted the best way we thought we could, but there were still mental health issues and wellness issues that the community was experiencing that we felt would be very helpful to get outside resources for. So going forward as an administrator, as a principal, I looked at situations very differently. In our most recent event here in Las Vegas where we had a shooting, my first thought at four o'clock in the morning as a principal was not about what's gonna happen at school necessarily in terms of physical, but what's gonna happen mental and emotional with the students. We had a different situation than any of us had ever encountered. You read about the attacks that happen around the country and it almost becomes commonplace in the news, sadly. But when it happens in your community, it, it kind of rocked everybody. We had so many families that were affected by it and just dealing with their emotions, providing them support, um, giving us some coping strategies so that we could interact with the students. It's not always just breaking down and crying. There are a lot of um, symptoms that people don't connect and that was really, really important I think especially for our teachers to hear. Often uh, David and I are called in to specific situations by different entities and so it was most recently in Las Vegas and so we worked together and um, determined how each of our efforts would combine in order to provide a more well-rounded response. Our approach has always been to try and empower the school system and the local community to respond. So what we try and do is go in and give them guidance and advice and backup and support so that they can then build their capacity. The hands-on um, support that we can provide to those in leadership position is often extremely valued. There are many very, very good organizations who work to support children in grief, but there aren't any who go into the trenches and go into the schools and train the teachers. We are trying to change the way our nation thinks about grief and how we support grieving kids. The ability that the center has to design customized services for school systems. Uh, it's not an issue of coming in saying this is what you should do. It's an issue of what are your needs? These are suggestions. How can we help you to get to that to achieve those goals? That seed that we planted uh, through the National Center is out there more and more across the country and people are applying it. Grieving children are getting a consistent message. Parents are learning how to work with their children to let the children grieve in a free and natural way. The center is a place that needs to be supported if we are going to consider and take care of the mental health of children in the country. I've worked in a lot of school systems and I know this is an area where there's a deficit. The fact that David is so kind and willing to put all this information for free online to help people know the best way to support kids is amazing to me. 90% of children experience the loss of someone they care about, a close family member or a friend by the time they complete high school. So it's not a question about whether or not kids are going to experience loss. It's just a question of how prepared we are to support them when it does happen, and it will happen.